I'ma do what I do, so do you, hey And hey there you guys, my Migs here. Right now we are chilling and we're gonna be drawing. So basically I'm a creative. I love to create as much as I can, whatever means possible, whatever medium. I love creating, I love making things. So one of my favorite things to do when I have time like this, I also have a passion for graffiti. Um, this started very young. I remember I really got deep into graffiti when I was living around <clears throat> Providence. Around um, middle school, high school time, I was a stencilist too. Um, I was really into stencils. I'm still kind of like trying to come back and start making stencils again. But I also like working on my letter forms to keep in, you know, my, gra my graffiti letters flowing and keep the creative juices flowing so right now we are going to be just working on one of my notebooks um like i said i'm a starving artist so i work with what i got at, at hand so being a starving artist um you have a lot of like supplies that you work with what you got so we use notebooks if there's not a black book i'll use a notebook or one thing I was doing at one time when I was working at um, at, at a store um, is that I was um, making like black books. But what I will do is that I'll take a lot of white paper and then just staple them together. I have some of those books I've made like homemade black books inside because I needed to draw. And like when I was at work at this place, I usually really got bored and then they wouldn't let me tag deck around that got like that got me in trouble a couple of times for me tech decking weird so what i'll do i'll make these little notebooks and stuff and i'll start practicing on my graffiti practicing on my letter forms practicing on just drawing being more fluent like just being more fluent and like having a good flow so right now we are gonna be drawing for you guys and i'm gonna take you guys along this creative process so let's do this all right so this is just um my notebook i started like about a week ago or a couple of days i think it was like a couple of days old and i've already been using a couple of pages like i said this is like one of many i have a lot of like different books notebooks want to be black books that i've started and this is just a normal composition book it's a normal one subject book and i took it and i started making art that's something like graffiti so basically one of my first um before i became movement and the name i was holding down was ninja help one but the ninja part no one really knew that that was more me so i just wrote help one or help so that was like before i became movement and Migs. And then this is me fucking around with some letter forms of Formal Man Migs. So this is more like box letters. This is like more bubbly. This is like my one my one liners for Help One. I like how it connects. I'm telling you, like the Help One. I was Help One before I became Man Migs. So I, I so it's like once I acquired the new name Man Migs, I just like didn't retire Help One. I stopped using it for a bit and was focusing more on on, on Man Migs. But then on some weird weird chain of events, I kind of discovered the name Help One again, and I'm like, wait, this is still my old name. So then I'm like, alright, I have two artists named. I have Help One and Moon Man Migs. So this is just me just fucking around. I drew an alien. I drew some robots. I tried to draw a bug, buggy wuggy, wuggy buggy. I know, I drew a pickle on a skateboard, a spaceship. Just fucking around. I drew a Snorlax. There's a Snorlax because I love Pokemon. I did like some, some practice, some just warm up to warm up my hands. Just like scribble, scrabble, one liners. So this is like one of many, some more scribble scrabbles. Wuggy buggy, buggy wuggy. I, I don't know what that was, but I, I, it was just in my mind and I like the way it rhymed and I try to write it, but wuggy buggy buggy wuggy, I don't know. More scribble scrabbles, one liners. I have to figure out a better way to do this. Um, I, I just grabbed my chest mount tripod and put it on. And some spaceships, wuggy buggy buggy wuggy. Some more helps. I don't know if, if it's me screaming for help or I'm the help. I think I'm the help. And then some more one man migs. So this is gonna be a lot of things. So this is gonna be something I'm gonna be doing more prominent here on my channel. Is like drawing and creating and bringing you guys along the creative journey. And also I'm gonna start dabbling in stencils again too. So just wait. Like I, I basically, alright, <clears throat> this is what happened. I kind of stopped doing stencils um, around the time I moved to Florida. Because um, I didn't have like, I don't know. I just don't know why I stopped. But I stopped creating stencils because like 
I don't know, life happens and stuff, so I stopped creating stencils for, for a minute. And then, in the move back, I lost some of my stencils too. And that kind of was like a bummer. So instead of keep going and making new stuff, I was just like, fuck it. I stopped doing stencils for a while, and then I'm here now. Like, reminiscing about what I used to do in the, back in the day. So yeah, this is just like a notebook I grabbed and started just tagging it up. So I'm gonna be doing this more with you guys if you guys are interested in seeing some of my drawings, some of my graffiti endeavors. And then once I start making stencils, I'm gonna bring you guys along the journey too. And then I also lost some stencils too, because in Providence I had a, a, a friend of mine. Um, I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna call him by his um, art name, Miko. Um, Miko? Yeah. Um, he was a, he, he was like a big influence, and he lived on the block too. He lived he lived on my own on my old block back in Providence. So he was freaking cool as hell. And then like I lost some of his stencils too, so that kind of like fucked me up. And then I made some shit too. So basically the fact that in the move I lost some of my stuff and then that's what kind of like made me kind of like stop wanting to create stencils altogether because I lost some of my stencils I had for a while and stuff and that kind of like just turned it turned off the light bulb for making stencils altogether. I used to make my own stencils too but also I used to take pictures of like you know everyday stuff and make stencils out of that like I remember and give it to people for, for them to spray on their skateboards and stuff. I used to make like a bullet bill. I used to make a lot of things requested by people. People would do like certain like stencils requests and I would make it for them. And that's what I used to do at the skate park. Like, you always see my grip tape all artsy and whatnot, or cut up. I used to always do something with my grip tape, but then nowadays, it became a little bit boring. I guess I lost my, my, my artistic flow as I got older and, like, life happened. And then, like, I, start, I stopped stenciling altogether. But now that, like, I don't know, I'm feeling this calling to start doing it again and to, like, pick up the pencil and start drawing and, like, I don't know, show you guys this whole creative process and stuff. So, that's something I'm going to start dabbling in and, like, creating as much things as I can create and stuff. And go from there so i like using pens and markers because it's like this different it feels differently and like also like like the point is different like the way that the pen draws is way different compared to the way a marker draws and vice versa so right now we're just gonna do a little quick and it's awesome like i never lost the whole flow like i was always bigger in books than like actually getting up I don't really like the whole concept of destroying things that's not yours. I don't know. It's because I never really had shit, so why would I want to go and destroy other people's shit? You feel me? I don't know, that's my whole mindset about it. So that's why I never really got up like that. One way I got up the most was with stickers. I would make, I would make a bunch of my stickers and just stick them in different random places. So that's one way that I did get up, was with stickers. And then the stencils I would make was mainly for, to, to decorate my skateboards. So yeah, I've been dabbling in the like, art world, graffiti world for a while. And I have had different names too. I remember one time I used to run Pack Run, like a Pack Run, Pack Rat. I used to run, like, that, that was like one of my first names I remember. Before I became Help One, I was Pack Rat. Because me being an artist and then like whatever I used to find, like being like building materials. Because I like finding materials for my art projects from the street. Like I like finding a lot of things that's like trash or things that people deem unworthy. I like reusing it and making art out of it. So then at the time, one of my best friends, Brandon, was like, yo, you're like a Pack Rat. Because anything that they'll throw away or anything that like, they think they're trying to throw it away. Like, yo, you want this? We're gonna throw it away. I would take it because I'll see the value in it. You feel me? And I think that's how it has a lot to do with like my my come up and like being young and like my parents throwing my toys and shit. Because to, to this day, it's hard for me to throw away my shit because it's just like I still see value in it. And I remember one time, a couple of times, me growing up very briefly, that my mom would throw away my toys. Like I'll have like a good set of toys of like different figures that remind you of different things and shit about your past life and shit. And you know, just have like a good collection of toys and you you don't feel happy. Like yeah, I got my toys. Yeah. So you could start moving forward and doing other shit. Well, when you come home, you know the collection of toys, goner. And that has happened to me a couple of times too. Where I've gathered like a bunch of materials to do something or I have a bunch of stuff gathered that took me a while to acquire. And then I come home and it's gone. And I kind of hate that shit that people like don't see the same value on things as you do. So they see it as trash or like unworthy stuff. And then once you're gone, they throw it away. And when I was younger, that used to happen to me a lot. My toys would get thrown out. Artworks I used to do would get thrown out and shit. So, that had, that I, I, I bring that along with me too. It's hard for me to throw away stuff when I buy it or when I acquire it or when I find it. Because, you know, it's, it's, shit's been taken away from me a lot. So, it kind of sucks, you feel me? But, fuck it. We out here trying to make the best of it. So, we're out here just drawing, working on some letter forms. Like I said, I ain't the best. I do need some work still. That's why I hit the books and try to get better 
at my letter forms. Well, this is things I've been working on, like sticker ideas for like Moonman names and shit, and then like sticker ideas for, for cause I'm gonna be running both names. I'm kinda like two chains. I think that's why I rock two chains on my on my wallet chain because I have two artist names still. I have Moonman Migs and Ninja Help One. But I don't say the whole Ninja Help One. I just run Help One instead. The whole Ninja part, that's me, that's mine. That's my understanding. That's my connection to it. But not everybody will call it that. People will see it, oh, that's Help One. But they won't know the full name. If you know, you know. Because there's still some buddies of mine in New York who remember my, this, like, who remembers Help One and shit. And I'm like, and when they bring that up, I'm like, oh my God, you guys remember that? Because that was back in the day. Look at that, a one-liner. So this is like a one-liner, this or like a, like a, a one-line throwy, because it's like basically the marker does not stop. I don't pick it up and like keep, it's just, from, from beginning to end, it's whole one line. So like from, what I mean is like from beginning to end, it's all flows together. The marker just keeps going and keeps flowing. Bam, one-liner. So this right here is more like boxy, so boxy style. This is more like bubbly, so more like bubbly style. And these are like help one, um, one-liners. So yeah, I'm gonna continue doing this in the future. Like every time I feel creative and stuff and have the time to make a video like this, I'm gonna bring you guys along the journey and stuff. I'll be right back, my boss. All right, folks, and we are back. Sorry about that. Um, I heard my daughter inside yelling my name. I don't know why. But I went inside to check that out and now we're back here. So yeah, this is something I'm gonna be doing more often. I kind of started doing it back then. I'll bring you guys through my creative process and just show you something. But this is this this really gets really raw because it's not like my best pieces. This is just what I do on a daily when I'm feeling bored or I want to feel creative or want to start let the creative juices flowing. So this is like really really perfect to me because no one really sees this but me. Like my notebook stuff, like my black book sections. Like so you know, this is me sharing a part of me, like part of my creative process of my creative style. And this is not really like a done piece. This is just like a bunch of doodles and like drawings and just a bunch of ideas. So don't start judging me based on what you see on my black book. This is not the best. This is just me getting my creative juices flowing. The best is yet to come. So don't start comparing me or, or judging me based on what you see in my black book sessions or what you guys see in my notebook sessions. Because I feel like this is really personal. Not everybody gets to see an artist's black book or artist's book of what they create and stuff. And I'm going to start bringing you guys along the process. Maybe not on a daily, maybe as like a weekly update or maybe a monthly update depending how I feel and how um, inspired I feel to create or in order to draw. So, you know, this is just really, like, really sentimental to me because not everybody gets to see this. Not everybody gets to see, like, like Moon Man Migs or Ninja Help One creating this raw. This is raw. This is me just getting my ideas together. Like, this is why I like fucking around with the notebooks and the books. It's a good way to, 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 to get your ideas flowing, get your ideas together, what you want to create, what you want to do. It always kind of starts in a black book and then from there to, like, the final piece or to, like, the final product. So everything you guys see here is not a final product. It's just, like, ideas growing. It's just, like, ideas in the making. It's just how, like, I want to just get some creative juices flowing, just get some ideas out real fast and shit, I'll just hit a black book and feel good about it. Like, I don't know if you guys ever just pick up a pencil or a pen and start scribbling, scrawling and just doing crazy shit like this. You don't even know what you're gonna make, but just the fact and the fact that you're just flowing and feeling the pencil or the pen just do its thing. I don't know, it's awesome. It's, a cre it's an awesome creative process. Like, I like doing this sometimes just to, you know, just to flow, just to start feeling flowy, just to see if I, if I can get to that flowing state. So I'll just grab a pen, I'll just scribble, scrabble, just grab a marker and just, you know, but like I said, please do not judge me based on what you guys see here. This is just where the, the ideas start. This is where, you know, this is like the beginning process of everything. A black book, a notebook. So don't base like my art skills on what you guys see here. Because I know there's haters out there who, 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 who would look at this and try to like come my ass and shit. So this is just, it's like therapy. Therapy. That's how basically it feels. Just feels good it kind of helps you hone your skills too you kind of see what, what you need improving on what, what needs more work so i kind of like this whole notebook shit i love it i love it because it's an awesome way to create don't need much materials what you need is a notebook some bright ideas And the want to do it. You feel me? Because you have to want to do it. And I think that's how you get better. And I apologize if that if sometimes um, I'm not pointing towards nothing. It's because I, I forget sometimes that I'm wearing the, the, the chest mount tripod and I kind of forget that like, me pointing my body really, you know, changes the perspective of what you guys see. 
All right, let's continue. Let's continue creating. This is my Hope character, Alien. It's supposed to be like an alien version of myself. And then I draw it like different variants, like different versions of it. Like its eyes, different sizes and stuff. And then that's how I came up with the concept of his brother, which I don't have a name for him yet. Just by changing the eyes, this just changes the whole figure, the whole alien face. Thing. Just by changing the eyes, you know, I have a different character. And that's how I have a different character, which I don't know the name. So yeah, this is what usually goes down in the black book. Just getting a lot of ideas together and stuff. With the whole help name, I'm trying to get back like how I used to be, not to sound like a broken record. But when I was way younger, I was way better at my letter forms as well. But then, like I said, I stopped writing help for a while when I became Woman Migs. And then, um, I don't know how recently, but like during the summertime, I feel I was feeling really creative. And then I'm like, oh shit, I forgot about this name. And I brought it out the closet and started using it again. And I'm like, oh shit. And it's amazing because I still feel like I never forgot anything. But. I'm just trying to get back to how it was. And then I had these in my pocket. So I just took them out because like it was creating mad weight in my pocket for, some, for no reason. So I just took it out. Those are actually my favorite numbers. It being, that's my birthday. So that's why like 11, 11 is my, like one of my favorite numbers. So that's actually my birthday. November 11. That's crazy. Like my birthday is a whole engine number. Or like, um, Mary or <laughs> I think it's starting to wear out because it skips. I do the keys right there. It skips right there. So I'm starting to wear out. I don't know, I'm just trying to start flowing with the same name like I used to before. Because I feel like once like I stopped writing it, you, you, I don't know, you lose it. Like once you stop using it, you lose it. So it's like, I don't know, it's supposed like my hand don't flow the same way. And then this is fairly new. I'm just trying to learn this letter form here. I'm still new at it. Like my O's look weird, different sizes. And then I don't have enough space going that way, so I'm going to have to wrap it down here. So I'm going to wrap it like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, mucho mejor. And then, I like flipping through it. It looks awesome when you go through it fast. Like, shit, flip it too fast. I guess what I want to do. This is a fairly new book too. I just started it like a couple days ago. Also, like, depending on my emotions, how I'm feeling, or whatever, I guess the drawings are more better, or, or the graffiti is more better, or what I'm drawing is more better. I don't know, it, it all depends. I like doing totem poles too. Like I like tiki's, like totem poles like that. And then I drew this figure holding a board. But it'll be fun to turn some of these into stickers too. And start like 
selling them. And like, you know, making merch with like some of my drawings. That'd be awesome. But you know, I feel like it's a long way from there. Like you need the funds, you need the support, you know, you need things like that in order to even, you know, start making merch for for you know, for our channel. So I feel like I'm a long way from there. But you know only God knows. Like that'll be the dream right there. That'll be like a dream come true. Like my channel is big enough. I'm able to hire people. I'm, you know, I'm making, I'm living off my channel. I'm able to hire people. I got merch sales. I got sponsorship deals. I'm collabing with other creators. I'm, co I'm collabing with companies and stuff. And like they're, they're sponsoring videos and stuff like that. Um, you know, that's where I, I want to see this channel grow to. That's like the dream. That's the goal. Like this becomes a, a, a company. Then I'm able to do big shit. As of right now, we chilling back here as I draw in my notebook, as I get my ideas together and shit. You feel me? Oh. But yeah, that's the goal. And it all starts by you dreaming big. So it's like, I gotta start somewhere. So, you know, dreaming big, R real big. Like, I wanna be like Iron Man big. That's how, like, I see myself. Like, how, like, once I made it, that's like how I see myself. Like, Iron Man. Like, look at Iron Man. Iron Man it is like, he is a billionaire. More than that, multi billionaire. Then he has all the, 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 the stuff technology to back him up. And then he has all the suits, all the technology to keep himself alive and shit. Then he can make awesome shit. Like he could take an original car like, 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 and then add tech to it and upgrade it and stuff. Make robots. Make drones that don't look like drones. And shit. You know, he, he got like the, the know-how and the do power to do stuff. As of now, I have the want to want to create and the want to want to get bigger. I have the want, the energy. The know-how, like I know some stuff. I need the funds and the support to get there. That's the hardest part for me. Nice room for one liners. It's like a one liner throw up. Um, I, I used to call it another name, but then like other writers in the Bronx used to make fun of me for even saying it. But but that, that's a name I grew up with back in Providence. But I don't know if if it's a real name or not, so I don't even want to say it. But I like one liner. It sounds cool. I don't know, that's one cool thing I noticed about skateboarding and art, it always went hand in hand. So you always would find like a skateboarder that dabbles in graffiti or you would find a, a, a graffiti artist that knows about skateboarding. And it's kind of crazy how like all worlds ended up combining. Like, so I grew up a lot of, around a lot of skateboarders and artists. Maybe they started skating and lost interest and then picked up art. And then I met them in the streets or through somebody like, oh, this is also used to skate back in the day, blah, 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 but you don't skate no more, now he does graffiti. I'm like, oh, okay, that's a cool connection. Like you stopped skating, but now you still actively creative because you know you still do graffiti that's fucking awesome so like i met a lot of crazy cool people in the streets that like either skate or do graffiti or do some type of art or some type of creative and shit and it's crazy i met them through skating or because i know someone that skates and then like their friend does graffiti it's cr it's crazy to connect about right, what i'm trying to say is crazy the connections i've made through skateboarding alone and then the fact that i also dabble in graffiti too i met some writers as well and shit and like back in the day in the bronx and shit like they would like we would go to this ice and shit good times good times a lot of good times all right, man. But yeah, like, it's crazy, like, the people I've met through my hobbies. Or mainly through skating. And then through skating, I met, like, other people that dabble in graffiti and other shit. And it's awesome. Like, it's still going strong. So I just can't wait to meet more and more people as I get more, like, established or get more known into shit. Or get more known into, like, different communities and stuff. So, I just can't wait. Like, it just feels like it's only gonna get better and better. Because I'm still a skateboarder through and through. I know, like, back here, back at home and shit, or where I'm at now, like, I don't really skate like I used to. Because, like, I don't really have, like, the same vibes. But I know, it all begins and ends with you, so that shouldn't be an excuse. And I know what to do, too, because there's a spot nearby, and there's this obstacle, um, these metal benches. But there's these cracks that kills it, and the cracks, like, slow you down a lot. So, for me to be happy in skating that spot, I have to do something with the cracks. And hopefully, no one takes it off, because like, I noticed there's part people that be there. So, it would suck that I fix it, and it only stays there for a short period of time. But at least I was able to fix it. But there's also parts like spots and shit 
and like skate parks, but they're kind of deep. And also skating alone is not the funnest. I must admit. I think that's why when I'm back home, that's all I want to do is just hang out with my friends and skateboard because I have the support of my friends there. I have the support of the skate park there. Over here where I'm at right now, I don't really know no one that skates like that. I'm like the only skater I know. It actually does tricks. Because I see other people kick pushing, but I think they just kick push. I don't think they really do tricks. Because I be yelling at them, do a kickflip, and they don't. I mean, people be yelling at me too, but I be with my cruiser, and my cruiser has no nose. Like, yeah, you guys seen my cruiser. I'm about to say, I don't know you guys seen my cruiser, but my cruiser has no nose. So I can't kickflip with that shit. Maybe if I really, really focused and tried, I would be able to. But at that moment, I'm, I'm cruising around. I'm not going to be able to, like, you know, do a kickflip on it. But if I'm on the board, I'll probably be able to. I think I kind of learned them on, on a tag deck. I'm not sure. And if I did, I learned them by total accident. Oh. I think that was it. I don't know if that was a tag deck or, like, a weird impossible thing that I think I do. I don't, I don't know. Because my friends tell me it's not an impossible. They tell me it's an inward heel. But I feel it's an impossible. Because I feel the board wrapping around my finger like that. But my friends tell me that it does some other stuff. I know. Piercing. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. My boss is calling me again. Alright, you guys. And with that being said, the Moon Man Migs. Signing out. Until the next one, the journey continues. Thank you for watching. Thank you for vibing. Thank you for being here with me. I promise next time will be better. Um... Thank you for vibing. And with that being said, peace out. I'm that man on the moon. I'm up, up on the moon. Ooh, ooh.